Hi everyone, I am here to do a haul. It's a few things that I've bought for my birthday and when I say I've bought for my birthday, what other people have bought for my birthday is what I actually mean. Uh, I'm extremely sorry if you can hear uh, a banging in the background. Someone appeared to have decided to build a monument in the garden as soon as I started to do a video. So things like this always happen to me. I'm used to it. Anyway, uh, jokes aside, let's get on with it. And um, I've got a friend who lives uh, very close to me, one of my neighbours, and she gave me a Boots voucher. Um, it's not actually a voucher, it's a card, it's like a credit card, but you get money on the card. And she also bought me these two Soap and Glory minis. It's of the Righteous Butter and also of Flake Away. Flake Away is just one of the most beautiful sugar scrubs I've ever used in my life. The scent is just divine. Look at that. You can tell it's really rich and the bits in it are really fine. Well obviously it's sugar so that is gorgeous. Gorgeous stuff. I wish you could smell it. It's so sweet. It smells like a bit a bit like Miss, De uh, Miss Deocherie. Like a cross between Miss Deocherie and a little bit like Coco Mademoiselle. A tiny bit. But it's so nice and that is what the bottle looks like, really, really thick, like you can really push down on it. Do you know what I mean? It's absolutely fantastic, that stuff. Love it. So she got me them and a gift card. Now, my mum got me these, which is so pretty. Some little earrings. And them little black stones really catch the light and look so pretty. So she got me them. She also got me these earrings which are so pretty as well so it's these little silver hearts with like a silver heart on top and they're just so shimmery and when light shines, shines on them they look gorgeous so that was another present from my mum and then she got me this moisturising strawberry and guava body yoghurt it's just a body lotion and it smells really nice and fruity. It's funny actually because I've never tried none of these from Avon. And then just lately I, I received some natural stuff in the swap that I did with Gemsy 2011. And then I've got that as well off my mum. So they're from the same range. And then this came with some lip glosses. And we got a clear which is still wrapped up but it's basically clear. You can see through the bottom there see applicator in there that's clear and then she got me Sundance and that's really nice actually doesn't look like it's going to be my type of colour in the tube but it's actually really nice on so I got them too now I know she got me some other stuff oh I'm sure she got me some other stuff and I don't know where it is I've probably mislaid it anyway uh, I'll carry on uh, my partner got me Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. He got me a 50ml, so that's 1.7 fluid ounce. And it's the Eau de Parfum. And I love the bottle. It's like a diamond. And I love it. It's a really nice, sweet smell. Gorgeous. It's a really classy, sophisticated smell, that. I love it. Really pleased he got me that one because he usually gets me a scent for birthdays and Christmases and um, he always gets it off his own back, um, meaning he doesn't ask me what I'd like. He likes to get me a surprise, which I love, and he always gets really, really nice uh, scents. He also bought me this necklace, which is what I'm wearing now. This um, It's a locket. I absolutely adore that. For Christmas is getting me a thick necklace to put on, um, to put the locket on because it's only on a fine necklace. It is a strong necklace but it's only really fine at the moment. Um, but it is a really good quality, strong fine necklace. I've never felt one like that before. So I love that. I, I think that was probably the most expensive out of everything. Uh, it would have got me the necklace for my birthday but it would have cost way too much money and we wouldn't have been able to afford it. 
Then he went to Pandora because I don't know if I've mentioned this in my videos before but I do have a Pandora bracelet but I don't have many charms and the reason for that is choice. I chose to only have um, go away bra strap sorry uh, I chose to only have charms given to me on uh, birthdays, uh, Christmas, Mother's Day, things like that, special occasions because I want each charm, I want to know where each charm's come from and why it was given to me and I want each each thing uh, to have meaning and to be special. So up to now I got that because uh, my partner actually bought it me for Valentine's Day so he bought me that heart one for Valentine's Day. Then he bought me the little girl for Mother's Day because I've got three girls. For my birthday, he bought me the one with the uh, ghost on, because we're right into ghosts and things like that, and we're actually going to go ghost hunting. Um, I bought it him as a gift for his birthday. I bought him a skydive, and I bought him a ghost hunting experience, and it's a night of ghost hunting with professionals. So we're really into all things like that. So we're very strange, very strange indeed, but. That's just what we're interested in and uh, so I bought him for his birthday and we've still not done it and it's gone past my birthday now. It was actually my birthday on the 21st of September so I think it was Wednesday. So now we're going to book that and it was just something that he knows that it would mean something to me. So I love that. Then he also bought me the earrings that I'm wearing now which are gorgeous crayons. And then also, these two pairs, it did spoil me. Oh, uh, one pair like this, these are uh, nine karat gold. One pair like that. I really like them, I had them in yesterday. And then these, which are really lovely, and small, well not small, they're like a medium size. I really like them. I love them all. My favourite has got to be the ones that I'm wearing now though. Absolutely gorgeous, love them. So they were the main presents that he bought me. Then he gave me money to buy makeup and stuff with. So I placed an order from Elf and bought some nail polishes and also got some stuff from the body shop. So this is amazing and I've actually left a nail unpolished so that I can show you but that is what it looks like can you see well this is a magnetic polish and what you do is there's a magnet on top of there I'll show you now the polish right what you do you paint every finger let it dry completely they say leave it at least three minutes and then what you do is you do each nail at a time then when you put the first layer on you do one nail, so that would be the second layer, and then you hold this just above your nail, as close as to your nail as you can get it for 10 to 15 seconds. Then when you take it away, it leaves that. So I'll show you now, you can see that middle nail hasn't got anything on. So you're going to watch me paint it now. And I've noticed that you do need quite a good amount on. You can't put a really thin coat on because it doesn't really work, it has got to be wet. So I've just put another coat on there and now I'm going to put that to the base of the nail and hold it there right close to the nail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then that's what it comes out like. It is really good. I love that. I think that beats crackle polish any day. And I've got it in this colour which is Trafalgar Square. I've also ordered the golden colour and also the purple colour. So they're coming. I think uh, the purple one is a gift for somebody. Um, but I'm not too sure yet. Right, he also got me some goodies from the body shop and that included, they were doing, I went on the site and because wait, wait, I got an email telling me that I could have £10 off any order of £20 or more. So what I did, I went on the site and they actually had a two for one offer on the skincare 
and it was only the top uh, the top selling uh, skincare so I got the vitamin E nourishing night cream for all skin types it's an antioxidant skin repair whilst you sleep so that was that and it's really thick I mean compared to the day cream it's amazingly thick it's really 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 thick but it's so nourishing it really is um, nice for uh, I'd say more normal skin to uh, skin tights, normal to dry for that one. But I find that the vitamin E day cream doesn't do much for my skin, and I do get quite dry skin. So, and then I got the seaweed clarifying night treatment, and it's for combination and oily skin. This balances excess oil as it moisturises. So this is for the times of the month when my skin's more oily and I'm getting more spots. So I got that one. I think I got both of them for £9, so uh, one may have been 10 one may have been 9 I think they were both £9. Then I got this eyeshadow because I love the Body Shop eyeshadows, one of my favourite eyeshadow formulations, and they're fantastic. This is in number 10, and the colour is taupe, I think. I was going to get Pebble Grey, and that one is really nice. In fact, it's very similar to Vex and Pink Earl, a bit more like Pink Earl. And that is the colour taupe. This didn't look all that taupe to me. It's definitely a warm tone taupe. But it feels like one of the Benefit Silky Eyeshadows. It feels gorgeous and that is the colour. It does look more taupe when you've got it on uh, the skin. But it's so silky honestly. It really is. That is the colour there. And then the star of the Body Shop all is this bronzing powder and this is in light matte and it is 01 and this is from the Honey collection and they've got bronzers in three shades in this uh, collection which is just brilliant. Shade 2 I could have got away with, I could have even got away with shade 3. Shade 1 is so perfect for anybody as fair as me and I think even probably fairer. It's got a very slight honey scent and it's this one is also another one that feels really silky, um, very similar to the Benefit um, Silky Eyeshadows, only this is more compacted, so it's not quite as silky. But that is the colour. Now I don't know if you can tell, but that is such a perfect bronze uh, colour for me, just because of how fair I am. It's just so beautiful and it really is um, a nice colour look can you see the colour there it's just a slight bit of uh, tan nothing too overpowering not orange yet, anything like that it is absolutely stunning I don't even think you're gonna be able to see it just there and it really is natural looking that is gorgeous and it's definitely a I think it's something that could replace the Daniel Sandler uh, Brazilian bronze with this only being, I think it was 12 or 13 pounds, so I mean, it's brilliant value. And that was definitely the star of my uh, body shop haul. So that, oh, that uh, my partner also bought me that. Then he got me some elf goodies. Now I'm gonna have to whip through these really quickly, otherwise, this video is gonna be ridiculously long. So we've got the lipstick that I'm wearing now, and that is. Mm, Oh, it's here. It's the, one of the matte lipsticks, lip pencils, lip colours, sorry. And this is in Tea Rose. This is definitely my favourite out of... I've bought Natural and I've bought Tea Rose. That is what it looks like. Really gorgeous. Rose colours suit me uh, better than any other colour. So that's really nice. I got two mineral lipsticks. And, oh, by the way, my partner bought these as well. He gave me quite a lot of money for my birthday, actually. Did really, I did really well. This one is Ripe Rose. Another uh, rose colour that is a little bit more ruster than rose to me. Like when you look at it, the rose colour that's right next to it. This look, definitely looks more brick-like. That is the second colour in. Like that one does look like a rose colour to me. That one looks more rusty. I can see where the rosiness comes into it though. And I love these mineral lipsticks. They're fantastic value for money. I mean, when you can get them with the 50% off codes, 
I'd just go for it. But I had an email the other day and that's when I ordered this stuff and I was told that it was the last time they was going to do the 50% off um, items. Uh, 50% off voucher code so I'm not sure if that's right and then I got party pink this is a cool tone pink and really really pretty it reminds me of I don't know why but it reminds me of hue but a really bright hue by MAC You'll probably look at it and think, what are you on about? But that's just what it reminds me of, like a really bright hue. So I really like that one as well. Then I got this. This is a bit out of my comfort zone, but I've been wanting to go for brighter colours uh, and deeper colours for the autumn and winter. So I thought this would be a good way to go, and it's one of the conditioning lip balms with an SPF of 15. So you still got that slight SPF, and these are huge. I didn't actually think that it would be this big. And I got this in the colour Romantic Rouge. It just twists off the lid. And then you've got this little bit here. And look at that, actually. Look at that there. That looks, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a little, it's got a leaf imprint in, on it. Can you see it there? Looks like a little leaf. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it smells like vanilla. Like a bit of a coconutty vanilla. And I'm not sure how conditioning it is because I've not used it. Or how sticky it is. But that's a colour. It's really pretty actually. And it's coming up quite a lot more orange than real life. But I've noticed that when I'm looking at it on the camera here, it will appear orange. And then when I get it onto um, the computer and upload it onto YouTube, it will come out more true to itself sometimes. And that's that colour there. That's really nice. And I can see that being really nice on top of very light nude colours. If I put that on top of the uh, Barry M's 101... Oops. If I put this on top of Barriers 101, I think that it would uh, brighten uh, the 101 up and it would also dull this colour down a bit so that it would make it a little bit more wearable. Then I've got two of the studio blushes, one in Mellow Mauve and one in Blushing Rose. This one is Blushing Rose. I don't know which I prefer out of the two, I like them both to be honest. Just rip it open. So you're doing you get the little inserts and then that one is blushing rose this one's really nice actually it's definitely a rosy pink with a gold shimmer looks quite coral there actually good thing with these is not the ma they're not the good thing with these is that they're not massively pigmented so that you can build up the colour and when you're fair like me, believe me, you need that. I've also got a few things that I've ordered that are still on the way, like I've ordered NARS Penny Lane Cream Blush because I was wanting um, to try one of the cream blushes. This one is Mellow Mauve, I'm sure it is. Yeah, Mellow Mauve. I like this one, I think I prefer this one to Blushing Rose, which surprises me really because I really thought that I'd like uh, Blushing Rose best. And they, are, they do feel silky, but at the same time they are powdery. So that's what Mellow Mauve looks like. And then we'll swatch that right here. So that's that one there. It's not really coming up true to colour. I hope it does when I convert and upload. So that is that one. And then I got this. And this is going to be a gift. And this is the Eyelid Primer Collection. You get three in there. You get Nude, Pearl and Champagne. So I think they're going to be a really good gift. And then I got three brushes. I got the Angled Eyeliner Brush. Doesn't look as good as what I thought it would. I got the blusher brush. 
which feels really really nice and sh I think will fit the shape of my cheeks really nice as well it's really small and really soft and fluffy and I think that's exactly what you need in a blush brush you want it to be more fluffy rather than um, paddle like in a way if you know what I mean more flat you don't really want it flat because unless you really want to lay on a lot of colour this is going to be dispersed eat more evenly and a bit lighter and then I got the mineral blending brush and this is the first mineral brush that I bought from uh, elf and I'll tell you something it feels fantastic it's there and it reminds me of a 217 not in the shape as you're gonna see this is rounder this is more like I suppose it'd be more like a 222 by Mac in shape but not as long but the Sigma um, like dupe of the 217 is a lot fluffier and more dispersed and it really is fluffy when you're putting it on there's no stiffness to it it doesn't concentrate any colour really it's just more dispersed it disperses it a lot more whereas the 217 has some stiffness to it and it is a bit thicker I can't really explain it but it stays st oh, it's stiffer I suppose I can say it like that it's stiffer and it really does concentrate the colour where you want it but then you can blend it out as well and I think that's going to be fantastic for this uh, for doing that sorry thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon bye